Learning a new skill is an art in and of itself. It requires dedication, patience and momentum. Hello, this is Anas from Speak Real Arabic. Welcome back. The need to learn a new skill can vary between a person to another based on their life situation and their own motivation. Some people learn a new skill in order to acquire a new job or to improve their current financial situations. For others, learning a new skill has to do with their own internal motivation that drives them toward improving themselves and of course enjoying some new life experiences such as playing a musical instrument, painting a piece of art, or just making a delicious dish. In this video, we're going to talk about how to learn a new skill and how to do that in the shortest time frame possible. One of the best ways to do that, in my own personal opinion, is to learn from successful persons. Try to get some of their methods and apply their methods in our own learning experiences. One of the accomplished persons that I would like to talk about is Lex Friedman, a successful scientist in the field of AI who also runs a very popular YouTube channel. On his channel, Lex interviews many successful individuals who work on a variety of fields, such as AI, cryptocurrency, deep learning, language cognition, amongst many others. Although a scientist's life is a very busy one, Lex still finds some time to actually acquire new skills and add to his own skill set. In one of his videos titled How to Learn and Master a New Skill, Lex gives his two cents about the art of learning a new skill. He talks about two core pillars, passion and the rigor of self-discipline. He then talks about removing self-motivation, motivation, what is that French? He talks about removing self-motivation from the equation and replacing that with building a habit. According to Lex, it is quite important to give in the time and effort and never give up the frustration. Lex believes that if anyone commits themselves one or two hours every day over the course of five years, they will actually reach the state of autonomy and they will get to enjoy the fruit of their hard labor. He describes the state of autonomy as when someone reached to the point where it is very, very hard for them to lose a given skill. Even if they just, you know, get off for a long period of time, they will just get back to it in a matter of a couple of days no more. Another famous YouTuber by the name of Thomas Frank made a YouTube video titled How to Learn a New Skill, a Four-Step Process. In his video, Thomas discusses Josh Kaufman's book, The First 20 Hours, how to learn anything fast, where the author talked about four essential steps someone has to take in order to reach the basic level of proficiency in any given skill. The first important step is deconstructing the skill. What this means is that you have to break down the skill into a smaller subskills and then you have to gain the basic level of proficiency or the basic knowledge in these subskills before you can get to practice the skill itself. One example to this is learning how to play basketball. You have to break down the skill of, say, a layup into smaller moves that you can actually understand and imitate. Then you have to rank these smaller moves based on their difficulty level, and then you have to tackle the smaller ones before moving to the harder ones. Number two, learning about each subskill. Now, you do actually need to learn about each subskill in order to be able to practice it. But what you don't have to do is to actually reach a mastery level in that subskill. This will actually save you a lot of time and effort and will make the learning experience much more enjoyable for you. The reason why you don't need mastery level in that subskill and that it is only the basic level of knowledge that we're talking about is the fact that you just need to be able to realize your own mistakes and avoid them at a later iteration. Number three, eliminate any barriers to success. In Thomas's view, one of the major barriers to success is the lack of self-motivation. And while Lex doesn't agree with this view, as he sees that you don't need self-motivation down the road and that you can replace that with building a habit, which is better in his own opinion, Thomas believes that you have to confine yourself in a motivated environment in order to keep going learning your new skill. Number four, practice deliberately. In his book, Kaufman insists that you have to practice deliberately in order to reach the level of basic knowledge or if you have accumulated a total of 20 hours in a given skill. He also recommends that you use tools such as timers or a clock in order to monitor your practice time. This is quite important in his view and this is due to the fact that it is quite easy for you to overestimate the time you've spent learning a hard skill. Okay, so what we learned so far. For one thing, and based on the skill that you are learning, what's really important is not to work hard rather than to work smart. Sometimes trying to brute force your way through a skill learning barrier would actually work against you 
and will hinder your ability to make any tangible progress. It is important for you to take a strategic approach and try to break down skills into smaller chunks and deal with them one at a time. Another very important takeaway that Kaufman alluded to in his book is the fact that you don't have to have a perfectionist mentality when trying to learn subskills as this is going to save you a lot of time and effort and is going to make the learning experience much more enjoyable for you. What you need to do instead is to reach the basic level of proficiency at a given subskill as fast as humanly possible. What we also learn from these accomplished individuals is the fact that dedication to practice is one of, if not the most important part of the art of learning a new skill. Trying to avoid distractions and staying focused on your goal is key. Putting in a fixed amount of time dedicated to learning that new skill is another. So that's it for this video. What do you think of the art of learning? Do you think that it is something for anyone to master or is it only for the elite? If you like this video, a thumbs up would be massively helpful. Thank you so much for your time and see you in the next one.